Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 16.4 B security response, or as Apple calls it, iOS security response 16.4 B is available to developers and public beta testers. You can actually see that in your software update and you'll see I'm already updated, but if you're on the developer beta or the public beta, you should see this update. Now this particular update came in at a very small 3.8 megabytes that's on the iPhone 14 pro max and on the iPhone 11, let's go ahead and get it installed you'll see it was 2.7 megabytes. So let's go ahead and install it. We'll give it a moment to install and talk about what's new. Now, this particular update was released alongside tvOS 16.3.3. We'll talk about that in a moment as that actually has a nice fix in it. But as you can see here, this is a very small update and it says this rapid security response provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. If we go back over to our security updates here, We'll go to about and you can see it there. And here you can see it's build number 20E775 2230G. Now we can remove this just like we could remove the first one. We can remove it, reboot, test it out. And what this is for is for those testing, pushing these out on a mobile device managed network. So what that means is maybe you're in an organization, whether that's a school or a business where you're pushing out updates to many devices, that's what this update is for. It does not include any specific security updates according to Apple. So this is just something for test reasons and will install fairly quickly. We'll hopefully get this installed here. It's also available for iPad, but it's basically just for test purposes. So it's not doing anything yet, but in the future, Apple should be able to push this out instead of pushing out a 16.4.1 update just to fix security issues. So that should be nice in the future. We won't need huge updates. We'll just get a few megabyte updates to patch security updates or security issues rather. Also, I wanted to mention that tvOS 16.3.3 is now available to the public. This is on one specific device, and that's the Apple TV 4K third generation. This specifically fixes issues that people were having with the remote disconnecting from the Apple TV. I've seen that myself. They haven't addressed it until today. So that's something that's finally addressed. You'll see in the Apple security website update, there's nothing here, at least that they mention as far as security updates, but it could contain a few different ones. Now, as far as future updates, well, iOS 16.4 beta three is expected to be as soon as this week or next. Now, originally I had thought because Apple was going to push this update this week with the security response update that we would get an iOS update. However, they did that without it. So maybe we'll see an update as soon as tomorrow or Wednesday. However, they could push beta three until next week. As some people are saying, we could expect iOS 16.4 to release to the public in either late March or early April. Usually with beta three updates, sometimes they'll wait every other week. And then once they get to beta three or beta four, then Apple will transition to a weekly update schedule until the final release. So we don't really know yet as Apple hasn't said, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get a beta four update where they continue to fix things and add some features and updates. Now, as you can see, this is still installing. It's taking a little bit, but I didn't want to make the video too long, but this takes longer to install than 16.4 a did, but either way, it's a small update to test what it's like if it causes any issues and more. And if it does cause issues, make sure that you report it in the feedback app so Apple can actually fix the issue. And so that's everything with iOS security response 16.4 B. If you found there's anything different after you've installed it, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I don't expect there will be, but you just never know. Other than that, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, it will be linked in the description as it always is. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.